Well, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Robert Buter, the Lifestyle Doctor. Last week we talked about 31 resolutions to rock 2014. And you know, these were simple resolutions that you could add to your everyday life that would just help you help make you a happier, healthier, and more successful human being. And the key thing with resolutions that we know is that you should always add new stuff first before you think about taking things away. So the better the things that you add and the easier they are to add, then the better off you're going to be and the more likely you are to achieve them. So to make this dead easy for you, what I've decided to do is over the next 21 days, we'll be going through a new habit each day that you can easily add to your lifestyle um, that will make you happier, healthier, and more successful. So to kick this off, we're going to be talking about fabulous fat. So fat should be added to every single meal that you eat. Fat, you say? Doesn't that stuff clog your arteries? Well, conventional wisdom has totally dropped the ball on this one. Fat is actually a requirement for us. It's actually a requirement for our genes so that we can have proper energy conversion and satiation. What I mean by that is good energy levels and feeling satisfied after every meal. So one of the things that happens is that when people think about fats, they think about all the bad stuff, and this is certainly not what we're talking about here. So we're not talking about fried chicken. We're not talking about pizza. We're not talking about takeaway food. All of these things are going to contain trans fats, and trans fats are extraordinarily bad for you. That stuff will kill you. What I am talking about are the good fats. Some of my personal favorites are eggs, avocado, olive oil, raw, preferably uncooked, uh, coconut oil, coconut oil is great either cooked or uncooked. Um, any of these things, when, when we add them to our diet, will give us plenty of fat that is actually very, very good for us, that will make our energy much more, uh, much easier to metabolize, so we'll have much more consistent energy level across the day rather than up and down energy. Uh, it'll also make us uh, feel fuller after every meal, which is really, really important. So when you're choosing what fat to eat, there's a couple of things you also got to remember. Animal fat can be healthy, and I do love animal fat, but you do need to be really, really careful because animal fat from an unhealthy animal is going to be unhealthy for you, whereas animal fat from a healthy animal is going to be healthy for you. So if you think of the cows that are coming in to most of our meat supply, they're overweight, Obese cows, essentially, they're unhealthy, they're grain-fed, so they're not naturally fed, uh, not fed their natural uh, diet, um, and they're, in some cases, even diseased, and in some cases, they're not even able to walk to the slaughterhouse. This is the sort of meat that we're getting in our supermarkets. This is the cheap meat that I'm talking about. Now, if you go for organic, grass-fed beef, you're much more likely to get a high-quality, healthy animal, and the fat will, therefore, proportionally be more healthy for you. So just be really, really careful with animal fats, but they can still be healthy for you. The other one a lot of people ask about is dairy. So should we eat dairy? Should we not eat dairy? High fat, low fat? Absolutely stay away from low fat food, in particular dairy. So dairy should be full fat and dairy should also be raw if possible, which is extremely difficult to obtain in this country, but it is possible. So you want to be going for minimal amounts of dairy, but if you are having it, have the full fat option. So to summarize, low fat or no fat food, bad. High fat food, good. Just remember what type of fat. Have a great day, everyone.